No. Oh. You're salty. Uh, I am salty. Ah, Hello there, travel lovers. Hi, so we're saying hello to you from Krakow here in Poland, and today is Monday. Technically, it's not a working day for us. We usually have it off so we can travel or explore, and yeah. today that is the case. So where are we going today? Today we're going to Wieliczka Salt Mine. Awesome. Do you know what? I've been looking forward to this the most. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but something about an underground mine <laughs> with chapels and lakes and all of those really interesting things, it's really fascinating. But you know what else I imagine? You well, licking all the walls like this. <laughs> <laughs> so up until 2007, that was the oldest operating salt mine. Yeah. But now world. it's just a historic monument. So if you're wondering how to get to the salt mine from Krakow, it's actually very, very easy. Just use one of the Flix buses. That's yeah. exactly what we're doing today. We booked our tickets uh, on the app. We actually got a little discount as well, thanks to Pavel. I know <laughs> he's watching. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a really easy journey. Yeah. Uh, we just have to go to the Krakow's main bus station jump on the bus and we travel take... to Velichka. It's about 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay, so we just bought our tickets. Uh, these tickets are probably the most expensive tickets that we spent here in Poland for any attraction, so I really hope that it's worth it. Um, it costs about £17.50 per person, plus you have to go on a guided tour, so it's not like you can go down into the mine and just walk off willy-nilly, you have to have a guide with you. So there's literally about 15 different time slots for English-speaking guides, uh, about one every half an hour from 8.30 until 6.30, so that's really good. I'm not sure how many people will be on this tour with us I'm not sure if I'm able to film inside because it's gonna be very dark and plus we're gonna be in a group this might be a very technical video but I'm hoping that I get to show you guys something inside we're currently on the ground level but I'm pretty sure that we'll get an elevator all the way down into like the basement area and I cannot wait actually Good afternoon, welcome everybody in Salt Mine Village. My name is Isabella and I will be your guide. We'll enter the mine descending the staircase in the old mine shaft. It means 400 steps to level 1. Then we'll continue visiting the mine. An additional 400 on the rest of the tour. On the way back there is a lift as a reward. There is a heavy door, I will open the door. Please pass the door to the next person. And I will ask the last person to close the door gently. We can start counting the steps. This is 17th century Dangovic shaft and the staircase was built for the first time in 1870. So this is all the way we are going right now. Beautiful <laughs> flights. Wow, it looks insane. <laughs> kilometers long and over two kilometers wide. We have over 200 kilometers of tunnels, passages like that one, and over 2,000 chambers. <gasps> million tons of salt was produced from here a lot uh, we stopped mining in 1996 because I actually didn't pay any more to do it you know that salt is very cheap at the moment so nobody has been mining here since 1996 uh, we do produce salt but today we get salt from water <laughs> cauliflowers or popcorn <laughs> this one grows about centimeters per month so when they are too big, miners will chop it off, but they will start growing again and again. A very salty, 99.6% of salt and just a little bit of water. Here you can see what happens with salt because of iron. Iron yeah. makes salt pink or orange. It depends how much iron is inside. Will be shiny. This is salt on it. While walking, mm. we polish it. It makes it shiny. Okay. okay. But please do not lick the floor. <laughs> you can lick the walls. 
Oh, that's just pure salt, is it? Mm -hmm. okay. Steel race were introduced in this mine for the first time in 1861 for the horse power carts, laid on battery power carts, and underground trains. Mm -hmm. Transport salt from the place and salt was extracted. Oh my god. Okay, going further down now, yeah? How many meters? I don't know. As he wanted to kill baby Jesus. So this is how Christianity begins. All the chandeliers inside this chapel were decorated with crystals from crystal caves. That's why they are so beautiful and shiny, like diamonds. As you can see, the floor doesn't wear off. Although we have almost too many visitors to the mine each year, the only danger here is water. So nobody uses water to clean this floor because it would vanish immediately. <laughs> this is amazing. So right now we're standing in the biggest chapel. Uh, this chapel is dedicated for Saint Kinga. This chapel is stunning. Everything is made out of salt. All the floors, ceilings, walls, and obviously all these carvings. And it took three miners in 68 years to make this chapel happen. And what the lady told us is that they don't use water to clean the floor. I guess they don't have to clean the floor at all, no. because otherwise everything would dissolve. <laughs> that's that's yeah. insane, yeah. yeah. I just think all these sculptures are crazy, isn't it? Really Look at are. this, so completely made detail. from salts. It's unbelievable. And obviously all handcrafted. Yeah, and yeah. only by three people. Yeah. It's insane. And they actually have masses down here, and yeah. you can get married in yeah, here too. Yeah, you can get married, you can have events, concerts, uh, it can fit up to 500 people. Yeah. yeah. Overall, it's been about an hour since we've been on this tour, and it's so worth the price, guys. Mm -hmm. It's actually really hot, though. I'm really sweating. Justina says, why are you sweating? It's not hot, but I am so hot down here. I feel like it's greasy. <laughs> it's really good, guys. It's really interesting. And our tour guide is a legend. She's yeah. so nice and so and knowledgeable funny. and funny. <laughs> so we've got a really good guide. Oh, we need to go now. Let's go. This guy's completely made from salt. Amazing. Yeah. So gorgeous. So crystal. Solid salt. Look at that one. Yeah, wow. Justina, look at it again for me. Go on. See the tongue. Oh. <laughs> oh. Really salty. Yeah. yeah. Full of nutrients. Full of nutrients. Oh. Hmm. That's mm. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, all in all, the tour took about one hour and 30 minutes. Yeah which is not too long, not too short, it's just, just right. <laughs> and now we can actually stay in the salt mine and explore it by ourselves until 9 p.m. Wow. <laughs> so can you imagine how many walls we can lick? <laughs> like six hours. <laughs> I um, think we'd be dead by the end. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we gonna do next? Just carry on walking. Yeah. Because there's some parts yeah. we can't go back to, but there are some parts that we can explore on our own. Mm -hmm. So I think there's like a restaurant here, um, another chain. But, oh, <laughs> I'm not looking where I'm going. We're 110 meters below ground, and actually, we're only exploring only 1% of the whole mine. It would take about six months to explore this entire mine operation. Isn't that insane? There is a restaurant here, but I bet the food is very salty. And here, guys, is a conference room that you can book out. It is huge in here. So after exploring the salt mines, we came back to Krakow and right now we're in the old town. We're actually enjoying some food at one of the rooftop bars where our restaurant is called Metro. That's yeah, really nice here, isn't it? Yeah, nice really nice. Of the old town. Wow, it's such a nice day today. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay guys, and we're back to our hotel. We truly enjoyed the day. We highly recommend visiting the salt mines. It doesn't take a long time to get there. It doesn't take a long time to tour around, nope. but it's definitely worth the money. And yeah, it was a very unique experience. I don't think we've ever been down a mine before, have we? Nope. And uh, it didn't even feel that claustrophobic no. until the ending when we were shoved into an elevator. And that seems to be a theme of ours, actually being trapped places where we shouldn't be. <laughs> but nonetheless, it was a very good day out, uh, mm. very close by to Krakow, um, and it was definitely worth the money. So we're gonna end it here. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like it, share it with your friends, mm -hmm. and as always, cheers to freedom. freedom. Woo!